Sometimes I wish I had just one day to feel like a real ogre again. Well, why didn't you say so? Just sign it, and all your problems will disappear. I'm Christopher Smith for WeCanRewind.com, and this is Shrek Forever After. Must be one of those alternate realities. Please stay tuned for a message from our tyrannical dictator. Hello, people. It is I, Rumpelstiltskin, your new king. Whomever brings me Shrek gets the deal of a lifetime. No strings attached. <gasps> so sharpen your pitchforks and get your mob on. <laughs> The presumed last film in the Shrek franchise finds Shrek at a standstill after challenging an evil dragon, rescuing a beautiful princess, and saving your in-law's kingdom. What's an ogre to do? If you're Shrek, you suddenly wind up a domesticated family man who's so famous, he now autographs pitchforks. Longing for the days when he felt like a real ogre, Shrek is duped into signing a pact with a smooth-talking dealmaker, Rumpelstiltskin, and soon finds himself in a twisted alternate version a far, far away. Their ogres are hunted, Rumpelstiltskin is king, Shrek and Fiona have never met, and Puss in Boots is one hot mess. You should not be here, senor. Puss? You've gotta be kidding me. Feed me, if you dare. Puss, what happened to you? You got so far? Fancy. Do I know you? Well, where's your hat? Where's your belt? Your wee little boots. Boots! For a cat! <laughs> but your puss in boots. Maybe ones. But that is a name I have outgrown. That's not the only thing you've outgrown. Hey! I may have let myself go a little since retirement, but hanging up my soul was the best decision of my life. I have all the cream I can drink and all the mice I can chase. Mm. I'll get him later. Now it's up to Shrek to undo all that he's done in the hopes of saving his friends, restoring his world, and reclaiming his one true love, Fiona. Fiona! Oh, I'm so happy I found you! Via satellite, Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, Cameron Diaz, and Antonio Banderas agreed to speak about the movie, and they offered this. Personal space is very important to me. You don't know who I am, do you? In this um, alternate reality, uh, Donkey and Puss in Boots and uh, ultimately Fiona don't know who he is. So um, in trying to convince them of who he is, he finds out for himself who he is. I said, I'm playing a junkie, a donkey, so I said it, I have to be a jackass. So that's always at the, at the, at the core of it. I'm always thinking, you're a jackass. Whenever I'm, any line, I'm thinking, you're a jackass, why are you doing this? You have to do this like a jackass. So I'm always a jackass. And I hope y'all take note, that's over four movies. That's four movies of focus, four, I'm, I'm focused four movies through. I never, ever once do you sit and watch and think and go, He's not like a jackass. Each time I say something, you turn to whoever you with and say, a jackass. What I loved about Fiona as a warrior is I love her strut. She has a strut. She walks out and she is strutting it. She's like, I am bad. I am bad. Do not mess with me. <laughs> she has this long flowing hair, you know, and she's, um, she's got all her, you know, her, her cleavage is there and her little skirt and her armbands and she's really fierce. What I love about it is that she's still feminine. She's not this really rugged warrior. She just sort of embodies um, a, a, a capable woman, you know. It's uh, uh, very simple. He's just fat. 
and uh, I'm very very lazy guy and um, he doesn't want to uh, work out uh, he doesn't have that kind of pull for uh, all the epic side of the cat to just disappear <laughs> he just is a very too comfortable <laughs> probably living now with Fiona and, and having everything in hand so <laughs> he doesn't go for dangerous stuff or anything like that he's just uh, lazy and fat <laughs> but makes him very funny actually and sweet too he never stopped being sweet so with this franchise, the question now four films out is whether the box office will remain fat. Judging by the clips, the movie certainly looks funny, but clips are chosen for a reason and they don't reflect the whole. Shrek Forever After opens this Friday, May 21st, where it hopes to win over audiences a final time. I'm Christopher Smith for WeCanRewind.com and that's your look at Shrek Forever After. Bad donkey. Mm -hmm. Mustn't. Mm -hmm. I said don't. Don't. No. Get away from it. You're dead. Mm -hmm. uh oh. oh. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> ah! Donkey. Ow. Are you okay? I'm fine. Ah!